Busting 10 Adopt Me Myths. There is something secret underneath the map of Adopt Me. Now to go and check this out, we're gonna go ahead and use a glitch through the tunnel to the neighborhood. This is a very old glitch that actually works still. Walk up to the tunnel and stay on the right hand side and face forward and keep walking pretty slowly and it won't actually teleport you to the neighborhood. Instead, it will allow you to go and access through here and then walk the plank of doom. That's right, there's a plank. Then grab a fly pet and we can actually explore what it looks like underneath. Although you can explore the underneath of Adopt Me, there actually isn't anything secret hidden under it. None of this is a secret and I guess it just kind of looks strange. That myth's busted, but let me show you the next one as this one's actually true. There is something hidden inside of the vault in the pet shop if you glitch in. The vault is still here. Like this door has been here for such a long time and it serves no purpose. The only way to go and get in is by glitching. But believe it or not, a hacker has actually gone and gained access into this vault. I was just playing Adopt Me and some guy went and told me to go and turn into a baby. They then went and picked me up and managed to go and gain access inside of the vault. Now I don't recommend hacking as this is completely illegal and would get your Roblox account banned. But this hacker somehow had some bypass to literally fly through what is inside of the vault and somehow gain access. They literally started typing words such as visual something, honestly I don't know what they started to do. And they typed reopen which is somehow gonna open up the vault. And then they're about to go and fly inside and we can actually see what is on the inside of the vault. And on the inside is just a giant astro ball. Literally a giant astro ball. Honestly, I don't know why that is there. So I guess it is kind of a secret. They decided to hide one of these giant astro balls hidden behind the vault. Literally just a giant one. The original thing that was hidden behind the vault was the founder's crown. So I'm surprised they actually bothered to go and update it. Also, since when did holding petware give you a little plate? Well, when did that come out? Literally, you can hold anything and it's now on a little plate. So I guess that myth is actually true. There is a secret behind the vault still. The next myth is are you actually luckier if you're in the Adopt Me Influencer program? Let's check this out. To test this, we're gonna hatch a cracked egg to find out if I'm actually luckier. As you can see, my pet currently has absolutely no tasks completed, but since I'm an Adopt Me Influencer, you will notice that the egg actually just went and hatched halfway, which means the Adobe influencers actually get double pet aging. You might question why, well it's to go and help make videos which in return help promote the game I guess. But I've seen absolutely no proven fact that you get increased odds. I mean it would be cool if I was, but then it would just be a bit unfair to everyone else I think. So let's hatch this out and see if we get a legendary. And we got an uncommon, so I guess it's false. The next myth is why is the bell broken at the Adopt Me School? Honestly I don't know why this is a thing that many players talk about. About. But if you didn't know, there is a bell at the Adopt Me School. And supposedly, the bell wasn't always broken. Wait a second. They fixed it. It had been broken for three years, and now it's fixed. Are you kidding me? What? Why is it not broken anymore? That is extremely bizarre. So I just found an image of the old bell and apparently this update actually happened recently. As you can see, it used to have this large crack in it. And now it has absolutely no crack. Honestly, I don't know why they would change it. It seems they also changed the shape of the bell. Like before it looked quite a bit different and had this old school types of vibe. And now it's, it looks less detailed, right? This looks really, really kind of basic but before it kind of looks like a more realistic bell. Honestly, I don't know why they would change that. Let us know your thoughts. There's a secret noob hidden in the farm shop. Let's teleport there. Now, I'm not too sure where one would actually be hiding. I mean, there's Justin, but he's not really a noob. And down here is just a special little neon cave, which means I'm pretty sure they're wrong. But what I can tell you is that this myth is kind of true. There actually is a hidden noob inside of Adopt Me, but it's not in the farm shop. It's right behind Archer. Grab any stroller and a pet that is fly or ride. Pick up your pet and then drop it. 
and then go and press the ride button to go and get through into here and you will find your noob. The next myth is that if I go to the bridge above the neon cave entrance and pull over a hoverboard and drive into the water, it should act as a surfboard. Now good news is I actually do happen to have a hoverboard. Now hoverboards are pretty rare vehicles I guess. And apparently I need to go and get my hoverboard and just drive over right about here and it will turn into a surfboard. I guess it's kinda true. I mean it doesn't change much I guess. I mean if I'm in the water and I equip it I guess it just kind of makes you sink and if you use the hoverboard and drive directly into it I guess it makes you hover. So the myth is true but it does actually work at any point as long as you just don't spawn the vehicle while you're under the water it works. And as an added myth, I'm going to go and show you this cool hack where if you place a float on top of your hoverboard, it actually launches you into space. Now the question is, how long does it actually take me into space for? Will it take me to infinity? Honestly, I have never tested how high it will actually take you before. Wait, the pull flow just landed back on me. We had reached the max height and then I guess it just falls off but how high can we go this time it definitely looks like we've gone higher adoption island has now nearly completely disappeared and it just looks like a gray weird shape oh and it fell again is that the max height nope that is barely that is barely standing on oh this is funny oh no it missed us this time so i guess that's the highest you could possibly go i just fell through the map it yeeted me through the map guys 60% of you guys aren't subscribed, so be sure to subscribe right now and like this video. That myth was true, I guess. The next myth is that if you use Starcode Candy, you'll get your dream pet. Using a Starcode on Roblox is really easy to go and do. Basically, it gives me 5% of the purchase and you get to keep everything that you're buying. All you need to do is press the click here and type the word candy, and then you hit the word add and it says you're supporting me. That's absolutely all you've got to do. As much as I'd love to give everyone their dream pet, unfortunately, I uh, can't afford to do that. Now I have gone and given away free frost dragons and free dream pets in the past and supporting me does mean the world to me. But you know what? I will actually go and honor that and I'll do a giveaway where I'll go and give away a dream pet to someone who uses my star code and tags me on social media. The next myth is that drinking a hyperspeed potion or an anti-gravity potion right before you enter an obby actually works. So let's go and head on over to the obby section and have some of these things prepared. So first of all, I'm gonna go and drink all of these before entering the obby and find out if it actually resets it. The more you drink out of these, the stronger the effect, so I should be running pretty quickly right now. And that even also stacks with the candy corn, so I recommend going and eating both and you will actually become extremely fast inside of Adopt Me. Like, look how fast this guy just flaps his wings when you have the hyper speed and the candy on. But if we walk through this door, will it reset everything? Currently, I still have all of the speed boosts, but what if I walk into this obby area? Area. Will I keep it? No, I'm actually really slow now. Look how slow I am. Can you eat these while you're in here? I guess you can't. You can't go and eat it. Can you use a hyperspeed potion? No, you can't go and consume absolutely anything once you're inside the obby. But what happens if you start to drink it and then enter the obby? Does that then work? I think it might have done. I feel like that looks like it actually worked guys. I wonder if I leave and then come back and drink another, will that then also benefit it? I don't know, but I definitely look like I'm running faster than I should be, which is definitely interesting for those type of people who want to try and speed run the obbies. Now let's test this with the anti-gravity potion. I just drank it and as you can see I drank it in here and now I have the anti-gravity and that's actually really useful for an obby because you can just jump really really high. Now for some of the difficult obbies, I have a feeling that this is going to be pretty overpowered. Especially like the hardest obby possible, having an extreme increase in speed and also being able to jump really high is kind of a crazy glitch. Which might mean I can literally just jump off of this and then get into the end. Yeah, you can literally just cheat the obby, oh my word. So that myth is busted, it's actually true guys. The next myth is apparently that you have to reset before doing a task, 
and they did it and they managed to get an ancient dragon. So every single time that you go and get a task, you need to reset your avatar. And to do that, you press exit and then press reset character. Now, supposedly this will guarantee us getting a legendary, but they said that this works on a royal egg, but I don't have any of them right now. So I've just gone and got my first task and that means I need to go and reset myself. So reset my character. And now we shall feed it the famous sandwich, the thing that just magically appears in your inventory. First task done. Now I guess we need to go and reset again. I don't know if this is going to work, but if it does, I will be a happy guy. All right, we just got our last task and it says we're thirsty. So let's reset set and grab ourselves a lemonade because why not we're gonna treat this guy with royalty feed it please be a legendary guys we have gone and followed the resetting steps if this is a legendary that will be hilarious what did we get we got a orangutan which is only a rare this next myth says if i press alt and f4 i'll get my dream pet all right guys let's test this out right now alt and f4 wait it closed Roblox! Don't do that, guys! Thanks for watching, now click this video here to see me test 6 free Robux myths. Some of these actually work and can get you free real Robux.